A startling new study completely changes what we know about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Researchers found the T-Rex could not really run. Its size and weight would have made that nearly impossible. Hmm. Jonathan Vigliotti is at the T-Rex exhibit in London with how fast the dinosaurs could actually go. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is what's known here at London's Natural History Museum as an apex predator, meaning anything standing in its way could become its breakfast. Fortunately for these visitors, he's just a robot. But even if he was real, new science suggests to avoid being eaten, all you need to do is simply run away. It's one of cinema's classic scenes. Must go faster. An angry T-Rex charges at a group of terrified researchers in Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. But the stuff of sci-fi legend could really just be fiction. New science saying the mighty T-Rex could barely run at all. T-Rex was quite a lot slower than people have thought. I mean, Professor William Sellers, who led this study, says the prehistoric beast was so big, its legs would have buckled under the high speeds of 45 miles per hour it was once believed to run. The problem with that is that running that fast, it actually breaks all the bones in its legs. There are lots of people who would love to believe that T-Rex was the stuff of nightmares and that was running around in this enormous animal. And you have to bring a bit of reality into it. Sellers' research at the University of Manchester analyzed the Tyrannosaurus' bone size, density, and movement to determine the T-Rex was limited to walking speeds. An unflattering simulation shows the prehistoric beast is less stealth predator and more awkward park jogger. At its fastest, an adult T-Rex can only reach about 12 miles per hour, left in the dust by Olympian Usain Bolt, who can run 28 miles per hour. Even the average human is faster. I was a little bit disappointed, I have to say. I mean, not necessarily surprised, but I think I was hoping for it to be a bit quicker. But the new research has rocked the science community and the way we understand the monsters of our past, says Dr. Paul Barrett. Maybe they're not fast enough to be a predator at all, and that maybe they're restricted to being a scavenger on some of the big carcasses that would have been littering the environment. A scavenger doesn't fit Hollywood's image of the ruler of the rock. Predator versus scavenger at this point still unclear, though the T-Rex does hold one key title, at least for now. Scientists believe he had the strongest jaw of any animal to ever roam Earth, 10 times more powerful than the alligator. Fiana. I guess I tell my five-year-old he's faster than a T-Rex. Great <laughs> news, Jonathan Migliotti. Thank you. Strong jaw, but not fast feet. <laughs> exactly.